Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all see that? Yes. Y'all see those tow trucks? Yes, they are grabbing cars off the lot. Uh, we're trying to make room, so I can't really blame management. But uh, I have to get my other truck. This is my Dakota that I had a long time ago. I actually did a couple of videos on this truck, how to get them started. They set for so long. And this one has been setting for so long. Uh, yeah, I use it for scrap too, guys. Uh, now, <laughs> my little red Nissan, uh, I just keep liability insurance on that one. Guy sold me this. He didn't really sell it. He gave it to me a long time ago. I don't even know what a title it. And uh, I have no idea if you can even get a title uh, right now, you know, with the tag office being closed. So I have to find the original owner and have him to go up and apply for it. I don't have time for all that. So every time I'm able to drive it or I have a load, I just simply put liability insurance on it, go do the load, and come back, and it just sits. And that's where it's been uh, for the last, I don't know, uh, six months maybe. Now, I, I also keep uh, parts in here that I can't keep uh, inside the shop. Yeah, so I mean, it's not. This is not all core. This is not all. This is just parts I don't want to throw away. I don't know, man. Some of you guys out there know what I'm talking about. You got those parts. You just some of these are brand new parts, but um, for the most part, like this head and stuff like this, there's nothing wrong with this stuff. I just can't fix it in my gut <laughs> to throw it away. So I'm gonna have to turn a blind eye, put my hand over my eyes, and put it on the back. Especially the heads, it's straight aluminum. And uh, sell it to the scrapyard. There's nothing wrong with these, but I have no place to store them. I can't leave this vehicle at the shop. Torque converter, brand new, ain't nothing wrong with it. Oh man. So, the only other option is let it sit here and let them tore it away. Uh, that's not an option. Okay, I'm not going that route. Because the truck run, it's just been here. I have to jump it off. So, if they, it's dead, of course. So, I got my jump box. Uh, the last time, I'm gonna link that video right here. This video right here where I did a video on how to get this truck started, if it's set so long, it won't idle, it wouldn't idle. And I did what I needed to do to get it idle. See, I even had the key <laughs> right here. Uh, that's the last time I drove this truck. That's when I dumped this load on him. Of course, that's my old dryer from the house and the rest of this stuff come out of the shop. All junk, all scrap, all aluminum. So guys, I'm gonna get this thing jump started, go inside the shop and see if there's any more. I actually don't have any room, so I'm gonna just take this load uh, to the scrapyard and see what I can get for this and uh, essentially come back and uh, park it. Well, not here, I'll probably leave it at, and even uh, my, my normal hiding spot is Walmart because they closing at eight now, all the cars that sit on the lot can really be exposed because if everybody gone let's say 12 o'clock and your only little lonely car sitting there on the lot uh the police that check the lot might be suspicious and uh, do some investigation so i'm running out of options and it definitely can't go to my house my homeowners association will not have it <laughs> that's why i don't like living in that place okay i need a uh, like my own rules my own I'm moving from that place. Not just because of that, because I hate rules. I'm a mechanic. Sometimes I have to pop my hood and do things. I don't want to be told you can't be working on cars. I'm not going to do a pull an engine out in the parking lot, people. I just want to... I hate those type of rules, especially with the amount of money that I pay. And the amount of money I have to give them to give me those type of rules. It's crazy. But I understand uh, it's, it's needed for some people, especially the ones that won't cut their grass. So guys, let me take a quick ad break. When I come back, I gotta try to get this thing running so I can take this haul off to the scrap yard, see what I can get. And uh, it probably end up at Walmart because uh, management need all this stuff off the lot. So I'm a, uh, I'm a team player. All right, so let me take an ad break. I will be right back. All right guys, I'm back. Thanks for staying with me. Thanks for, oh, that's loose. Thanks for joining. I just wanna jump it out. That was loose too. Okay. Let's see if this bad boy even start. We gotta get it out of here, people. Man, did I leave the driver any room to sit? Oh Lord, I don't know, let's see. 
it don't help if you pat the gas. It's not a carburetor. All right, let me at least open the throttle a little bit. Here we go, guys. Yes. It lives. It runs. It runs. Taking the light on, but who cares? I just need to get to my favorite spot. I might not need a forklift. Y'all remember all the other loads I needed a, a forklift. We can just push this off and the rest of this is small core aluminum stuff. Um, I can't get nothing for this. I don't know how this end up back here. Ah, aluminum wheels with the tire still on it. And it's too far under there to take the take the tire off. Oh, Lord. So, how much gas in this thing? Will I even make it? Yes, I got a little amount of gas. So, guys, what I'm going to do, uh, what I'm going to do with all this stuff? Oh, here go my, oh, my goodness. I've been looking all over this. I know I bought one. God dig it. Guys, I needed this on a, uh, a Jeep, a Grand Cherokee I was doing. Oh my goodness, I needed to do a leak down test. And I was kept saying to myself, I knew I got one, I knew I bought one. Yeah, this is Harbor Freight. <laughs> Stuff like this, compression test, that doesn't have to be hardcore, super snap on, Mako. I mean, these are gauges. Come on, give me a break. This thing was inexpensive and it does the job. Well, it would do the job. It's, as you can see, it's still brand new. I never even opened it, but. My compression tester, I've been using the piss out of, uh, especially on the, the reason, the only reason I bought that one because of the 3.6 Pentastar, you know, it has a different fitting. In fact, check that video out right here. Uh, I'm going to show you why I end up doing a compression test on a 3.6 Pentastar engine. That was the only reason I had to get that compression test, but I've been looking all over for this. Here's a cluster of a PT I've been looking for. Shit, all I got to do is come outside to my car, I guess. I find most of the stuff I've been looking for. Alright guys, I got it running. Uh I'm gonna let this battery run and charge. I'm not gonna take off until I can start the car without battery jump box battery support. In other words, it starts on its own. And I'm gonna take my jump box with me. <laughs> you know, but I'm gonna head out to the scrap yard, see if I can that don't look like a lot of money, but anything is more than what I had, and plus we did at the shop, so let me go see. I might can get a couple more radiators up here, some small stuff, and then we'll see what happens, guys. So don't go anywhere. Let me uh, let me take this jump box off, see if this battery, I'm going to tighten that up, see if I can get a good charge out of this battery, and we're going to head out, y'all. So... Uh, stay with me guys. I ain't gonna close this video until I'm done at the scrap yard. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright guys. Uh, I had to hide this truck back here. So now I'm about to go ahead and make this little scrap run. Okay, I don't expect a lot of money at all. It's nothing but uh, it's junk, but it ain't, it's worthless junk. Okay, so it's taking up the bulk of the space and it's gonna pay the least, I guarantee you. But uh, let me head on out to the scrap yard, guys. Uh, yeah, I'll take y'all along with me. This ain't much, like I say, but uh, it's worth the trip. Let's get it, man. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I am here. Y'all know I'm in my great truck, my Dakota today. And we are here, guys. This is the place known as hell. Okay, wow, it's kind of slow today. Today Monday guys, so I don't know if it's always like this on Monday or what, but I should be able to run right in and right out. First thing first guys, let me get on the scale. Okay, so they can weigh, they ain't gonna weigh heavy at all. Like I say, that little dryer or washing machine don't weigh nothing, it's just taking up a lot of space. But we are gonna find out, let's see. Look at all that. It's like hell out here. I might not even need a forklift this time. There she go. See, she don't know it's me because I'm not in my red truck. I'm in this gray truck. But let's see. Uh, I'm going to park right there so I can dump this. It looked like where all the 
washing machines and dryers and stuff go. All right, y'all, so let's get it, guys. Alright guys, the rest of this going on a baby scale, okay? So this is all aluminum. I hope it's, they don't consider it steel aluminum, but as you see, there's radiators and batteries. Alright, let's go to the big scale and reweigh and then go to the baby scale. Alright, let's get it. Woo! Not much at all, I don't think. I'd be lucky to walk away with $40. At least that would be gas and uh, this month's uh, liability insurance. Well, actually, I ain't gonna have it on for a month. I only turn insurance on when I'm getting ready to drive the truck. I this this truck is not even a uh, tag or registration and all and all that good stuff. So whenever I need to drive it, I just turn liability insurance on. Call my insurance company and tell them to turn it on. And when I'm done, I call my insurance company and tell them to turn it off. So. Uh, yeah, no big deal, y'all. All right, I I, I could have swore. I'm gonna see if she, I can't remember, hear if she called my name, but I want to say she did. So let's go throw this other little small stuff on a scale, and we gonna wrap this up, guys. Hang with me. All right, guys. Let's see what I said. One much at all. Was it even worth the trip? What we got? Wow. <laughs> the lowest of all mankind. Uh, yeah, that wasn't really. That was light. One for that dryer taking up all my space. I could have got more in here, but hey, that's 27 more dollars than what I had. All right, guys, let me head on back to the shop, and grab the Nissan truck with the big money at, cause I got some junk on here, guys. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, I will see y'all on. The next video, let me get out of this hell hole. <laughs> Peace.